Um, I think the biggest challenge that we have in palliative care is making sure that we fit uh, within the political agenda in many countries. The problem is that palliative care is often seen as a subspecialty of, uh, of clinical care. So in some countries it's a subspecialty of medicine. In some countries it's not even recognised. And to some degree I think we have, our, we have a problem ourselves in palliative care because we're not always clear on the messages that we deliver. So I think one of the challenges we have across Europe is having a very clearly defined message about what palliative care is and about what it can bring to to the general quality of life of the population at large. In the Netherlands, they have always had a very, very good system of involving the public through volunteers. Volunteers are a very, very important part of the uh, palliative care service delivery. And they have what they call the buddy system. So uh, in some cases, the first person that the patient meets is not a doctor or a nurse, it's a volunteer. And the volunteer is the person who introduces the service. Here in Spain, I am always very impressed by the quality of the education and training that they're able to provide, which I think many, many other countries could learn from, particularly around interdisciplinary work. The idea of bringing people of different disciplines together I'm very aware, for example, one example in Portugal was where they did a really interesting project using sugar packets. Like Spain, everyone in Portugal drinks coffee. So on the little sugar packet, they would have a little thing about what palliative care is. And of course, every time you open the sugar, there's the information on palliative care. And so they found then by doing evaluation, the population got to know a lot more about palliative care. For me, I think the greatest thing that compassion does is it opens the door to the human relation, which is in fact the basis of palliative care. So if we as doctors and nurses can learn that actually it's not about always our qualifications and our skills, but it's about taking the time to share those intimate moments, and we do that through a compassionate response, then I think our practice will be only enriched by it. Me parece que la compasión es mucho más importante en la práctica profesional que en la investigación. Pero sin embargo no podríamos hacer investigación en cuidados paliativos o sobre cuidados paliativos sin tener como una toma de tierra o un punto de contacto con eh, la práctica clínica. ¿no? Y la práctica clínica en cuidados paliativos está impregnada de la compasión en su propio corazón. ¿no? De alguna manera me parece que eh, hablar de... de de cuidados paliativos sin hablar de compasión e investigar en cuidados paliativos sin tener este contacto con el cuidado compasivo del paciente no, no tendría sentido. Me pregunta sobre cómo, cómo promover también la compasión en la sociedad y cómo de alguna manera hacer llegar la visión eh, positiva de cuidados paliativos a la sociedad. Eh, Bueno, en eso es uno de los temas en los que trabajamos en Atlantes, en el equipo de investigación Atlantes. ¿no? Realmente eh, no pretendemos llevar un discurso ¿no? eh, a la sociedad, pretendemos más bien eh, poner en valor lo que nos parece que son propiedades intrínsecas de los cuidados paliativos. ¿no? Queremos que la sociedad conozca eh, la realidad de cuidados paliativos que tiene en su corazón propiedades como la compasión, propiedades como la profesionalidad, de alguna manera es medicina avanzada para el final de la vida. ¿no?